Let's go visit the animals on the farm. Yeah. Come on, kids. Wow, you think there are any laughing hyenas there <laughs> on a farm? <laughs> that makes me laugh just thinking about it. <laughs> oh, McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm he had a cat, E-I-E-I-O. With a meow. Daddy shark, 
do 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 Daddy Shark. Let's go swim. Do 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 do. Let's go swim. Do 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 do. Let's go swim. Do 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 do. Left and right. <laughs> Watch me. <laughs> Brother Shark. Do 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 do. Brother Shark. Do 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 do. Brother Shark. Do 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 do. Brother Shark. <laughs>
nice kitty. Let's be monkeys bouncing from tree to tree. <laughs> hey, hey, we're the monkeys. <laughs> Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. Bye. One fell off and bumped its head. Ow. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off oh. and bumped its head oh. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said No more monkeys jumping on the bed It's not the bed, we're in treetops <laughs> <laughs> Three little monkeys jumping on the bed Whee! One fell He's jumping on the bed! Oh. <laughs> 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 Two little monkeys jumping on the bed What fell off and bumped its head oh. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said No, no more monkeys jumping on the bed! I told them I did! <laughs> Like we 
Sure, Wookie likes that idea. Oh. Everyone ready? Yeah. yeah! There once was a girl all dressed in red who went to her grandma's sickly bed. She's not feeling well, so I'll cut through the dell and visit Grand for a short little spell. Now remember, don't talk to any strangers. I promise. Mama gave Red some special teas. Grandma's very favorite cheese. But in the woods, a wolf stopped Red. Well, hello, my dear. You're going where? He said, Um, you're a stranger, right? I'm not really supposed to talk to you. But I'm off to Grand. She's sick in bed. I've brought some cheese and fresh baked bread. Then Red took off, but the wolf was smart. He knew the way to Grand's by <laughs> I'm smarter than the average wolf. <laughs> the wolf sneaked into Grandma's place. I'll hide you so there's not a trace. He locked her in, got into bed with Granny's nightcap on his head. Help me! Poor Granny cried. Why come in, dear? Why, Granny? Said Red, and she walked right in. Oh, I've been wondering how you. I'm, I'm okay. But she sounded weird. Uh, Granny, since when do you have a beard? Oh. Granny has a beard. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Hmm. Why, Granny, what big ears you have? And Granny, what big eyes you have? And Granny, what big teeth you have? The better, my dear, to eat you with. <laughs> The better to eat you with. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> On second thought, no, no! Cried Little Red Riding Hood And a huntsman burst in from the woods He broke the door and he grabbed that beast Why, I'll give you a pound! To say the least! You're a big, bad, hairy wolf And you better stop being a bully Or you won't have any friends! Uh. Huh. Granny out And Little Red just blurted out I talked to a stranger Confess Little Red I've learned my lesson now She said She learned her lesson now She said Wow, that big bad wolf sure learned his lesson uh -huh. He sure did And they sent him away And he never came back See what happens to big bad bullies Indeed Now what's the moral of the story? <gasps> never a wolf know if you have fresh baked bread and special cheese. <laughs> oh, 
Once upon a time. No, wait. Okay. Do you want to tell the story? <laughs> no, I just like saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time. Three little bears went out to play. I build a house of straw today. Said one little bear, and just like that, he built that house and then he took a nap. But a mean old wolf woke him up. Oh, no! What? What? I'm a big bad wolf and I see you in there. Open the door, little bear, beware. Oh! He pounded the door. Let me come in. Not by the hairs of my berry chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And he did and he laughed with the worst laugh there's ever been. But once again, that mean old wolf woke him up. I'm a big bad wolf and I see you there. Open the door, little bear, beware. Oh, dang. Oh. He pounded the door. Let me come in. Not by the hairs on my berry chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And he did and he laughed with the worst laugh there's ever been. <laughs> We're gonna have to build something that that mean old wolf can't blow down. Just one little bear, and she had to think quick. I make my house out of sturdy bricks. Said the third little bear, and just like that, she built that house, and then she took a nap. And can you believe it? That nasty old wolf woke her up. I'm a big bad wolf, and I see you in there. Open the door, little bear, beware! No! Oh. He pounded the door. Let me come in! Not by the hairs of his very chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And he tried and he tried and he tried again. <gasps> Sheesh, get a hold of yourself. <gasps> Not by the hairs of his chinny chin chin. <laughs> the bricks were too strong. <laughs> so what happened to the mean old wolf? He was never to be seen again. Wolves are like that. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, Daddy. It's my turn to tell a story. <laughs> okay, but can we be in it? Sure. I need three Billy Goats. Archie, yep. Luca, you in? Yeah. Tell us the story of the three Billy Goats Gruff. Gruff. Three Billy Goats Gruff set off to the hills to eat green grass and get their fill. They ate sweet grass all day long. They ate and ate till it was gone. Oh, look at that. Oh, fresh green grass. <laughs> Across the river, the little goats spied a field of grass on the other side. Cross the bridge and you pay a toll. Not with coins, you feed the troll. Oh, oh my! The three billy goats gruff were very scared of the troll. But they were also very hungry. Little billy goat gruff just couldn't wait any longer. <laughs> so off he went. I may be scared, but I'm hungry too. trip-trapped by, the troll popped up from under the bridge and said... Who's not trip-trapping across my bridge? You won't get by me because I am going to eat you! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a hairy troll with yellow eyes, horrid teeth and claws. I'll eat you up if you cross my bridge with my rotten jaws! It's only me, a baby goat, I'm skinny as can be. You see? Yeah. And he'll be coming along next. Very well. Ah, uh, B. 
see that kid. <laughs> Tasty chap, I'm a hairy troll with yellow eyes, horrid teeth and claws. I'll eat you if you cross my bridge just because. Who's that trip trapping across my bridge? That's me, old troll. I have to eat that uh. sweet green grass. Said the middle goat of the three. Oh, no, you're not. Said the troll. I'll eat you with my tea. But I'm almost skin and bones, you see. No fat on me at all. You'd really like me. See? He's a butterball! Oh, oh, okay. Go. I wait for Big Brother. <laughs> so the troll let the middle Billy Goat Gruff cross the bridge and waited for his tasty Big Brother. <gasps> this is not good. So over the bridge the Billy Goat tramped, tramp, tramp on the wood. Who's that tramping on my bridge? It's Big Billy Goat, you hairy man. Hey, that doesn't even rhyme! I'm a hairy troll with yellow eyes, horrid teeth and claws. I'll eat you up if you cross my bridge. How about some applause? <laughs> Be very hungry! <laughs> I'm on my way to eat green grass nah. and join my brothers too. I dare you go to cross my path. My horns will charge you, shoo! And with that, the big billy goat charged the troll with his feet. Okay, whose turn is it to tell a story? It's my turn, and I'm going to tell the story of the lion and the mice. <laughs> Don't you mean mouse? <laughs> Not this time, because you're all going to be the little mice. Oh. A mighty, mighty lion lay sleeping in his lair. Three little mice came creeping by and stared. One accidentally brushed up against the lion's paw. Yikes! Sorry, Mr. Lion. Uh, there ought to be a law. Oh, sorry. I, I hope I didn't hurt you. The lion drew his paw back and dropped it on the mouse. Oh. The other mice were frightened and squealed. You mouse! I beg you, Mr. Lion, kindly hear my plea. I promise to repay you if you'll only set me free. I guess I could say yes, but only just this time. Now scatter with your friends and I'll pay you no mind. Oh, thank you, Mr. Lion. I'm forever in your debt. I guess not every lion is really such a threat. <laughs> <laughs> Go away. <laughs> You're swell. So the great big lion let the little mouse go. Phew, that was scary. But that wasn't the end of the story. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, do tell. <laughs> yeah, go on. <laughs> well, the lion went to hunting and wound up in a net. He paced and paced and growled and then began to fret. He roared so very loud that the three mice heard his cry. Is that your friend the lion? He's in trouble, me oh my! Hold on to your horses, I mean lions, we're coming to the rescue! Captured in the net, the lion paced and cried. Unafraid, the little mice clambered to his side. They nibbled a big hole and became the lion's guide. Well, what do you know? These little mice have now become my pride. <laughs> They're friends. <laughs> friends to the end. Nice, mousey. <laughs> Friends are just like family, and family just like friends. I always keep my promises on that you can depend. The lesson here is friendship, Mr. Lion, see? Friendship is a gift that always sets you free.
So, so is this a story about lions that get trapped? <laughs> no, silly. It's about friendship and, mm -hmm. and kindness. It sure is. <laughs> it's about always being there for your friends. <laughs> <laughs>